Hello and thank you for downloading this podcast. I'm Greer Jackson and today I'm interviewing Simon Gosney, Head of Learning and Development at NHS Direct. Simon worked closely with 1080 when his organisation went through a period of significant change. But before learning about Simon's working relationship with 1080, I found out what his role at NHS Direct entails. I'm responsible for providing training and development to our 3,000 staff across the country. We have 31 sites across England and uh, I'm responsible for making sure that they have the skills and competence and confidence to be able to do a great job for our patients. And can you tell me a little about the scenario when you felt the need to employ a career management consultancy? Yes, so we were going through a major period of change and we knew that as an organisation we were going to be significantly downsizing and changing quite considerably. So we secured some investment to provide a programme of support to help guide those colleagues across the country through that period of change. Uh, and that's really where, where this project came in. And why did you choose 1080? Well, we had a number of options available. One option was to bring in a team f- of external consultants to provide everything for us. And we decided against that because we thought there would be credibility issues with colleagues not necessarily ever having seen those people before. Another option was to provide everything using our internal people and train them up to provide the whole lot. But again, we thought credibility issues if there were you know colleagues who were trained who wouldn't necessarily know all about kind of issues like self-employment and and what have you whereas 1080 offered us a, a good blend of the two so we were able to train our own colleagues to provide some initial career coaching and guidance but equally we were able to access specialist expertise from 1080 themselves both in the form of career coaching and workshops. So it's a perfect fit in the end? It really was a perfect fit, yeah. And it, it did work really well, and I'm, I'm, it's an option I'm really glad that we took. And what sort of interventions have they helped you with? The first thing, and I guess one of the most important things, was they ran a two-day train-the-trainer programme for all of our, we called them support advisors. These were the people that we recruited uh, internally. And uh, they went through this two-day train-the-trainer, got all the skills that they would need to be able to provide that kind of first-level signposting and advice. Um, 1080 also then went on to provide a series of specialist workshops for our managers who we knew would have more complex job searches. So that included things like um, advanced interview skills, self-employment, looking at personal brand, how to get in front of key recruiters. And those workshops went down really, really well. Um, Also, they provided career coaching, again, mostly to our management population. They also provided a a number of other things like books and uh, access to a portal, which was really successful. We had over two-thirds of our organisation regularly looking at that portal and and using it. So it was quite a diverse range of things that they helped us with. What have been the benefits to your colleagues? One of the things that we've identified already is that had we met from the kind of open market, the level of demand that there's been for coaching that we've been able to provide ourselves, then we estimate the programme would have cost us an additional £75,000. So in terms of kind of saving, you know, that's quite important to us. We're currently looking at all the uh, gathering and all the data and evaluation about where colleagues have gone and, and what's happened to them as a result of the support that they've had from 1080. So at the moment we're calculating you know, how much redundancy cost we've saved and we, we hope to have those figures available quite soon. But we do know that engagement and morale during a really difficult time when a lot of colleagues uh, you know, have their jobs at risk has actually held quite steady. And I think a large part of that has been because of the programme of support that we've been able to offer. So it lived very much up to your expectations then? I think in many ways it actually actually exceeded our expectations. And one of the really nice things was we hear a lot from colleagues who know people elsewhere in the NHS. And one of the things that they kept saying to us throughout the programme is that they've talked to other colleagues, families and friends, and their families and friends are really jealous that um, that they haven't had access to anything like, like what we've had. And actually we've been able to do it really cost effectively and it's kind of looked a much more expensive program than it actually has been i think that's partly through the way that we've partnered with 1080 and the really effective working relationships we've had with them and the fact that we've work very flexibly together but also because we we took that kind of model where we would train a lot of our own people and and use 1080 to do that so yeah i think it's exceeded expectations so you'd do it all again then 
we definitely do it all again. I mean, inevitably, there's things that we would change along the way. And I think what's been great about working with 1080 is that we've it's been a constant learning process. And, um, you know, we've, we've been regularly adapting the program as we went. And again, I think that's just something that maybe we wouldn't have had from other providers. I don't know. But um, yeah, definitely as a program, we would definitely do it again. You've been listening to a 1080 podcast presented and produced by Greer Jackson with special thanks to Simon Gosney.